Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Yamaha U-Max Rally 2. So this is a brand new 2022 Yamaha U-Max Rally 2. Now we've gotten a ton of requests to do a review video on one of these and it really doesn't surprise me because honestly there's not that much information out there available on these machines. Now a lot of you may be wondering what a UMAX even is. You know, how are they built? Who are they built for? So I wanted to do a video that, that dives in a little bit deeper. We're really going to take a look at how these machines are built, the chassis, the drivetrain, and what makes them different than just a standard golf cart, but also kind of compare them to a side-by-side -side or a UTV. Now the UMAX does come in several different models. They have just the standard UMAX 1 and the UMAX 2, and both of those machines were really designed to be used around a golf course by the maintenance guys. They just are more similar to a regular golf cart, but with a larger bed on them. Now the UMAX 1 and 2 models that come with the bed on them have two different bed options. So the UMAX 1 version comes with a little bit shorter bed that only has about a 300 pound payload capacity. But if you get the UMAX 2 model, that comes with a little bit longer bed and those are rated for about 800 pounds of payload. Now both of those are a dumping bed and they also have an automotive style rear tailgate. So it just has the one handle in the middle. So it's a nice heavy duty tailgate that's easy to open and close. Now you can also get the UMAX in the Rally version. So the Rallies come with a little bit of a lift kit on them and they also come with some 23 inch tall tires. So in the Rally you can get a UMAX Rally 1 and the Rally 2. Now they also have the UMAX Rally in a 2 plus 2 model. So that's going to have a rear facing seat on the back of it. So a UMAX is basically just a Yamaha Drive 2 that got put on steroids. So Yamaha uses the same frame, the same engine cradle assembly, the floor pan, the dash, the steering, everything all comes from a Drive 2, but then they add heavier suspension on the front and the rear, they give it a little bit wider stance, they add larger tires, you get the bucket seats, you get the front storage compartment, you also get a larger engine, but then depending on which model you get, you get either a bed on the back or you get a rear facing seat. So the UMAX is going to be about five to six inches wider than a standard cart, and depending on which model you get, it's going to be roughly a foot longer. It's also going to weigh about 200 to 250 pounds more than your normal drive two. Now the rally models that come with the lift kit and the larger diameter tires to give you more ground clearance, I can see that getting used more in the off-road conditions. You know, somebody that, that's got a rough campground that they want to be able to get around or farm and ranch that they want to be able to go off-roading with or anybody, you know, even just using it around the lake, anywhere that you need that extra ground clearance that could come in really handy on these machines. So as I said, the UMAX comes with a larger engine. So this is a 402 cc engine that's rated at 14.25 horsepower. Now comparing that to just a fleet model drive two, you're gonna be looking at a 357 cc engine that's rated at 11.6 horsepower. So that couple extra horsepower is really gonna make a big difference when you're dealing with the extra payload or towing that this car can now handle. Now, in addition to having that larger engine, they also give the UMAXs a heavier duty primary clutch. Now, putting that heavier clutch on these is what helps give them their higher towing capacity of up to 1,200 pounds. Now, as far as top speed, most of the UMAX models are going to come set at 19 miles an hour from the factory. So since they use the same rear diff that the other Yamaha Drive 2s use, that means to go 19 miles an hour, they're going to come with high speed gears. And by turning the governor up with those high speed gears, you can pretty easily get these up to the mid 20s at 25 to 27 miles an hour. Now all the UMAX models do come with the big front storage compartment. 
So that's going to be really handy to have that extra storage space up front here that's going to keep your items clean and dry. One thing that I have found that I don't like about these U-Maxes is the accessibility to the engine and the rear transaxle. Now to remove the seat on these, you have to first individually remove each seat bottom and then there's a plastic seat pan that you pull up after that. But even once you've removed that plastic seat pan, then you still have the bars from the bottom of those bucket seats going across the top of that engine bay. So it makes it a little more difficult being able to get down into the engine area to do your service. But then to get to the rear transaxle, you do have a dump bed like on the one and two models. But once that bed's raised up, there's really not enough room for you to get in underneath of there to be able to do much work. They did go ahead and move the fuel filler neck to the outside of the body on these. So you don't have to raise the seat to be able to put fuel in this like you would on a normal drive too. Now that is a really nice feature considering that it's more difficult to get the seat up on these. So all the UMAX models do come standard with high low beam headlights that actually work really well. They're also going to come with a fuel gauge with an hour meter, as well as a horn and dual USB chargers. Now Yamaha does make a ton of different accessories for the U-Max. They have everything from overhead radios to toolboxes to go in the bed. You can get different front and rear brush guards, running boards, fender flares. You can even get full cab enclosures to go on these. They're also going to come in about six different color options from the factory and they do use the same wheel bolt pattern that a standard golf cart would. So you could put any combination of tires and wheels on these that you wanted to. Now all these U-Max models do come with a two inch receiver hitch on the back that I think is really going to come in handy for you guys that need to pull trailers around. Now one of the big issues with the U-Max is they're hard to find. Yamaha just doesn't build that many U-Maxes and there's a lot of Yamaha golf cart dealers out there that just won't carry them. They're just afraid that they're not going to sell or that they're too high priced so they won't even keep them on hand. So if you want a U-Max, you're either probably going to have to drive a long ways to get one if you find a dealer that actually has them in stock or you're just gonna have to go to your local dealer and special order one and be willing to wait to get it. And the problem with that is you're, you're ordering one blind. You, you haven't even seen one in person or got to test drive one, and when you order it, it's yours. You can't just send it back. So you kinda have to believe that you're gonna want it before you order it. So I'm sure all of you are wondering, what's the price on them? So to do a fair comparison, if we're talking brand new machines, just buying off the showroom, you would have to look at a Yamaha Drive 2 PTV model, because that would come with the lights, with the fuel gauge and the hour meter, the horn, all the stuff that this U-Max has on it. So you're looking at a Drive 2 PTV compared to a U-Max Rally. So we're talking with the lift kit, the bigger tires and wheels, this machine here, if we were looking at a two plus two version, so with the rear seat on it. So a Rally two plus two compared to a Drive 2 PTV, you're gonna pay about $3,000 more. But to make that PTV similar to a Rally two plus two, you would have to add a lift kit and 23 inch tall tires and a rear seat kit and an extended top to be comparable, actual apples to apples to a Rally 2 Plus 2. So by the time that you did all that stuff to a PTV model, you're going to spend at least $2,500 to $3,000 or more to make that PTV comparable to a Rally 2 Plus 2. So then you would end up spending just as much money on a PTV model to make it the same as a Rally 2 Plus 2, but with the U-Max, you're gonna get heavier front and rear suspension, and these U-Maxes also come with a rear sway bar. So when you put a lift kit on just a regular Drive 2, 
they get pretty sketchy. The Yamahas just don't do well with lift kits. It really kills your ride quality, your steering, everything just kind of goes downhill when you put a lift kit on a regular Yamaha cart. So when you get the U-Max, you get the wider stance, you get the heavier suspension, you get the rear sway bar, it's a little bit longer. So overall, it's gonna handle significantly better than what a Drive 2 would with a lift kit on it. But you're also getting that larger engine, so you're gonna have more power. You've still got the front storage compartment, you've got the bucket seats, there is some storage space between the front and rear seats on that 2 plus 2 model, so you get the extra storage room there. So overall, it's really a lot better deal to buy a Rally 2 plus 2 if that's what you need. If you need that more ground clearance and you want the more payload capacity, it just makes sense to buy a Rally 2 plus 2. Now, if you don't need that rear seat and you would rather just have the, the Rally 1 or the Rally 2 with the dump bed on the back, those are actually going to be a couple hundred dollars cheaper than that 2 plus 2. Now, if you don't need that extra ground clearance or the larger diameter tires and you're just wanting more of the normal cart size but with the dump bed on the back, that U-Max 1 or U-Max 2 in the standard version those are even more comparable in price to what a PTV would by the time you added a bed onto the back of it. Now if you wanted to compare the U-Max 2 Plus 2 to the Adventure 2 Plus 2, with the U-Max you're still going to get a wider stance and you're going to be a little bit longer so you've got that extra storage space, you've got the storage compartment up front, but the big difference is the engine. You're going to get the larger engine with the U-Max and you've also got the rear sway bar so the U-Max is going to feel quite a bit more stable. Now these U-Maxes do come with an electric version as well. So you can get all these models in either gas or electric just like you could in a normal drive too. But you guys that know my channel know that we are all about gas powered carts here so I'm really not going to go into any details on those electric models. Now I'm not going to try to tell you that the U-Max is for everybody. With that heavier suspension this U-Max is going to ride quite a bit rougher than what just a standard Drive 2 would especially if you compare it to the Quiet Tech Drive 2 models with the independent rear suspension. Those are the nicest riding carts in the industry and really nothing else can compare to them. So if you're just driving a cart on the street and you really don't need the extra ground clearance or you're not going to have a bunch of payload capacity that you need to be able to haul around, you don't need the larger engine, a standard cart just may be the better way to go for you. But there is going to be those applications where a U-Max is really going to come in handy. Now I know some of you guys are going to be saying, well, why not just buy a side-by-side? -side? If you're going to start spending this kind of money on a machine, you could buy a Polaris Ranger or a Can-Am or a Kawasaki Mule or something like that that's going to come with four-wheel drive and that can go, you know, 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. But you can see some applications where that's just not going to be that feasible. You know, some of the big advantages to a U-Max is that they're still pedal start, just like a normal car would be. So you can turn the key on, but the engine doesn't actually start up and run until you hit the pedal. And when you let off the pedal, that engine shuts back down. So there's some situations where that can be really handy, where you don't want a machine that you're just going to have to let sit there idling all the time while you're jumping on and off the machine doing different things or you shut it off and have to restart it all the time and you're going to wear out a starter or a battery doing that. So there is some situations where that's really going to be handy to have that pedal start. So the other big thing is the rear transaxle. So these use an open style rear diff. So they have a very sharp turning radius, just like a normal drive to or any golf cart would, but you can turn sharp and not have to worry about tearing up the grass. 
So there's a lot of situations out there where they just can't have the grass get torn up like on a golf course or somebody that's using it around the yard and just doesn't want to tear their grass up. Now these U-Maxes are also going to be a little bit quieter than a UTV. So while they're not as quiet as the Drive 2 Quiet Tech models, they are similar in noise to just a standard gas-powered golf cart. Now even though these machines aren't four wheel drive, you'd really be surprised how well they can get around in off-road conditions even with that open rear diff. Now one drawback on the U-Max models and the Adventure models is those all only come with a two year factory warranty. Where on your normal Drive 2 in the Fleet and the PTV models, those all come with a four year bumper to bumper warranty. Now I know I've thrown a lot of information at you guys in this video, but if you want to find out more about these U-Maxes, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for Yamaha's brochure on these. And that's got a lot of good information in it, and it'll show you some of the different accessories that are available for these. But if you want to find out pricing, you're just going to have to contact your local dealers to see if anybody has one that you could go look at, or if they can order one in for you. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you got some good value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.